Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, finishing up my coffee, and today is going to be a very busy day. It's going to be hot. I'm trying to get going a little bit early because I need to go find some lumber to cut up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to accomplish it all today, but I at least need to pinpoint some trees that I can take down so that I can start refurbishing my wood stack. But anyhow, yesterday, check it, something was delivered! I can't wait to open it. I'm pretty sure I know what it is because Miss Donna B said she was sending me something. I'm not 100% sure, but let's go ahead and open this up so you know what time it is. All right, here we go. Yep. <laughs> yep, there's a note. Enjoy your gift. Donna B. Look it. Two new Berkey water filters. Yep, it's from this company. What is it? Crontech BB92 water filters. Yes, those water filters that are in there now, um, they say that it can filter like 6,000 gallons. I don't know how many gallons I filtered, but it's a lot. But now I can feel safe and secure that I am going to be able to keep filtering my water for a very, very long time. So thank you, Miss Donna. I love them. I needed them. And these things are, they're kind of pricey. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I just heard a funny sound coming from the van. So I'm going to take a look. I think somebody's in the nesting box. Yes, there is. It's an Easter egg. -er. I'm not going to go around to the front because she snarled at one of the other chickens. But she's in there. Good girl. Lay me an egg. Well, I dilly-dallied around this morning. I did. I got on the phone and was talking to a friend. And um, I did find some wood. I went out and found some wood. Um, in fact, there's one, two, three trees that I had started last year. Remember that cedar tree that was kind of like dangling and I couldn't get it down? Well, it's down. So I'm going to be able to finish cutting up that one. And then there's another smaller portion of that same tree that I didn't cut up last year. So I'm going to be able to cut that up. And then there's either a sweet gum or a poplar. I'm not sure uh, that I can finish cutting up. Not big, huge trees, but big enough to make me some nice logs that I might not even have to split that'll fit inside the wood-burning stove, but it's already getting hot out here. And uh, yeah, so I need to get up like five or six in the morning and get started to beat the heat. So instead today, I am working on, let me pan a little slower, um, a little yard so the baby chicks can get out and get out of the coop, you know, and get used to going out and then going back in the coop. So I'm going to work on this and see if I can do it and make it so that the, uh, the other chickens won't jump up on top and try and get in. Here we go. I just took that fencing and reconstructed a little yard for them. They got a little bit of water over there. I may give them a bigger bowl. But um, I put a little shade curtain over most of it because I want, really want them to be shaded. And uh, this is where I go in and out and I'll put a little piece of netting after I leave. So I'm going to let the little baby chicks out and see how they like it. I don't have just the right size board, but I think that they can figure out how to get up here and jump up there. So let's see who is the first out of the gate. Yep, Mr. Rooster, Rocky Three. It's okay, babies. <laughs> Maybe not. Whew, it's hot out here. Come on, babies. They'll figure it out. There's that pretty leg horn. Look at all the black she's got on her. All right, so I'm just gonna let them figure this out on their own. I'm gonna go inside, fire up the air conditioner, and chill out and come and check on them later. There we go. I just stepped away, and they all came out. At least I think they're all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. All right, I'm going to go get them some food. Now I can relax knowing that they made it out. 
there's plenty of airflow. I won't even have to use a fan. And it is inside this larger yard. It's right outside their door. So the real trick is gonna be whether or not they can get up into the coop at night. And I've blocked off that whole bottom part so that they can't get underneath the, the house, um, the coop, because I don't wanna have to crawl underneath of there retrieving chickens. All right, you babies, enjoy. They got food, they got grit, they got water, they got scratch, they got ventilation. I think they're pretty, oop, somebody got a stick. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Oh, it's a bug. Oh, cool, girl. Eat it. <sighs> and now I can go in and relax. All right, I'm all rested up, so let's watch these pretty babies. Hello, Miss Beauty. You come to watch them with me, too? Look at her. Yeah, you're hot. Go get yourself a drink of water. It's right over there, girlfriend. She'll find it. All right. You pretty chickens. Look at how big they're getting. Yeah, they've got little cubbies that they can go in underneath of there, but they can't get through underneath the coop, so that's good. Well, looks like uh, at least the leghorn knows how to get back up, so that's good. I think she's the only one. I don't know. They're so much happier out here. They're playing, they're sparring, they're eating. Yep, this was a good move to do this today because I don't need a fan. If they get, well, they're not gonna get too cold, but if they feel like they're not getting enough warmth, they can go back in the coop. But out here, plenty of ventilation and it's shaded all day long. Hi, pretty girl. What should we name her? The Leghorn. And so I don't, I don't know. This one, look at that tail. That kind of looks like it might be a rooster tail, but I'm not seeing a bunch of comb and wattle action going on. But yeah, Rocky, Rocky 3, definitely a rooster. Look at that guy. <laughs> His wattles are coming in too. Look at that one. That one right there. I don't know. That may be e uh, like a Easter egg or Leghorn mix. You know, Romeo Dad, Mama. Uh, yeah, Mama the Mama. <laughs> This one's definitely a neat a leghorn. They're all so cute, and Zoomy Zoom does do her Zoomy Zoom sometimes. And look at this one. Gorgeous. Look at that little pink comb. I wouldn't mind having yet another rooster, so. That one looks like, I don't know, like a barred rock Easter egger. Well, I am glad that they are doing well out here. They've got more room. They've got a roost. <laughs> there you go. Okay. They know how to get back up. Cool. I don't think I'm going to have any issues. Is that Zoom Zoom? I think it is. Her coloring is changing just a little bit. <laughs> All right, everything's under control out here. I should just like let the camera roll, but I gotta get back inside and do some stuff. Yeah, that's Zoom -a Zoom. <laughs> she goes nuts. Look at you guys. I'm using this small pot, this small tall pot that my mom gave me to do a micro batch. I'm canning something in it and it is done. So I'm going to lift it out and show you what it looks like. Actually, I need to let it sit for a little while, about five minutes before I take it out. It needs to cool down. I got the heat off. 
but it's got a little basket and it's got little pegs on the bottom so it suspends it off so if I just want to do like one pint I can't do a cord. A cord is just a little bit too tall but say I, I just want to can one thing um, I can put it in there and it works great so I'll lift it out in about five minutes. This is what I've made. This is just the extra that was above and beyond a pint and I didn't can this I just put it in the jar and once it cools down really well I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator um, in the ice chest and taste test it what it is is mock pineapple it's that summer squash with um, pineapple juice and sugar and some lemon juice and I canned it up so I don't know in a few days I'm gonna taste it and see what it tastes like um I don't know I may even try that tomorrow out of this can Instead of grabbing the jar, I'm just going to grab this whole basket. Whoops, sorry. And set it over here. And I'll get the jar out in a second. I don't know where my jar grabber is. It's probably in that big tote. Alright, there we go. See that basket? Isn't it cool? Yeah. I can... I can can one pint in this. There it is, you guys. Hopefully, I did it right, and I'll hear the little pop before too long. We will see. Well, I gotta go out and check the baby chicks, and check the rabbits, and check the hornworms. <laughs> so that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.